Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will study about solar collectors. Solar collectors are the key component of active solar heating system. They gather the sun's energy, transform its radiation into heat, then transfer that heat to a fluid. So basically, a solar collector is a device uses the energy from sun to heat up the water to use in the home. The heated water then runs from the collector to your hot water cylinder. This way a solar water heating system can provide your home with free heated water. Now it is most important to understood the concept of solar collector and solar panel. They are two both very different technologies. As the name suggests, solar collector is used to collect sunlight and transform into heat energy. On the other hand, a solar panel utilizes photovoltaic technologies to capture sun rays and directly convert sunlight into electricity. Solar thermal water heating system consists of a three main components they are solar collector, hot water storage tank and a pump. So let's see it's working. Cold water inlet. Cold water is fed from the main source to the hot water storage tank where it passes through a coil. Cold water pump to the solar collector. This cold water is then get pumped up to the solar panel on the roof by a coil. Here heat transfer takes place within the solar collector and this cold water is then get warmed up by the sunlight. Solar heated water returns to the tank. The hot water passes through a second coil to heat storage water. Then this heated storage hot water get used for the domestic purpose to the home. So basically a solar thermal heating system harvests the solar energy through a collector which absorbs the energy from sun. This energy is transferred into heat in the solution that flows through a pipe in the collector and the heat is then transferred to a water which is stored in a hot water storage tank. Solar collector working Solar thermal heating system harvests the solar energy through collectors which absorb the energy from the sun. This energy is transferred into heat in solution that flows into pipes in the collector. This heat is transferred to water which is stored in a conventional storage tank. Classifications of solar collectors The solar collectors are classified as non-concentrating or non-focusing type and concentrating or focusing type. As the name suggests, non-concentrating or non-focusing type which means there is no concentration takes place. Now you first need to know about the term concentration. In the given figure, we see that a paper and a lens. When sun rays are reflecting on the paper, if we place a lens between it, both of them, so with the help of lens, we will concentrate or focus on rays on a particular point of the paper. This means that sun rays are not reflecting overall paper but it only reflect 
the particular point on the paper. This is the concept of concentration. So let's continue with our topic non concentrating and non focusing type. Here, the sun rays will reflect overall surface of the collector and not only the point. And the example of non concentrating or non focusing type collector are flat plate collectors. Now let's come to the concentrating or focusing type collector. So here the focusing device is present for concentrating the sun rays to a collector. Line and point collector are two types of focusing or concentrating type collectors. Difference between non-concentrating collector or non-focusing collector and concentrating collector or focusing collector. In this type, collector area is same as the absorbed area. Concentrated collector have large interscriptor than absorber. Whole panel absorbs light. Particular point absorbs the light. Generally used for low and medium temperature. And it is used for high temperature. Advantages of solar collectors. Renewable energy sources. The most benefit is that solar energy is 100% renew renewable energy sources. And we will always have solar energy. Reduce bills. In long run, it will save you a significant of money. Reduce carbon footprints. And average household can reduce their CO2 emissions up to 400 kg per year. Low maintenance. It requires little maintenance and only occasional plant servicing. Only you have to keep them relatively clean. The only part that needs to be replaced is the inverter that works continuously to generate the heat, which usually lasts for 5 to 10 years. Disadvantages of solar collectors Initial investment the cost of purchasing a solar thermal system is quite high but it will profitably in long run. You will also be eligible for renewable heat incentive which support you with yearly payment. Weather dependent. The summer is the best time to generate heated water. Nevertheless, a solar thermal can generate 40% to 60% of your heated water throughout the year. Necessary space. It needs both enough space and enough sunlight for it to cover your heat demand. Some homes don't have amount of space required. A solution in this case is to place them in the yard as long as they catch enough sunlight. Limited use. It can only heat water, but not the heat rooms and generate electricity. Yet, an average person uses between 90 to 160 liters of hot water a day, which can be covered with an approximately sized solar thermal system.